Detectives no longer believe that a schoolboy bashed to death in Western Sydney was the victim of so-called postcode wars between rival gangs. Seven people are behind bars over the alleged murder of Jason Galligan. The attack was filmed and put on social media. Police now want to speak with two men seen carrying mobile phones near the crime scene at the time as the boy's mother called for justice to be served. Crime reporter Mark Reddy. In a mere moment, Rachel Galligan's life changed forever, robbed of her only son, 16-year-old Jason Galligan. Jason was such a kind person with such a happy spirit. He was loving and generous and helpful to his sisters and to his family and friends. It was a brutal attack filmed and put on social media. These two men were captured on CCTV nearby. Both are carrying mobile phones and now police have questions for them. What they've seen, what they've heard um, and what they may have been doing around that time. It began over a pair of headphones and quickly turned ugly. 19-year-old Kayla Dawson is accused of luring Jason Galligan to her Duneside home two months ago. It's apparent that um, that was for the purposes of um, actually assaulting him. Repeatedly bashed and stomped on, the 16-year-old died from severe head injuries. Ms Dawson was charged with murder, so too were five children. Her boyfriend, 29-year-old Harley Batolo, is also behind bars. Detectives today hose down speculation the murder could be linked to the so-called postcode wars between rival youth gangs across Sydney. But they expressed grave concerns that such a minor dispute could result in the worst possible outcome. It is just so utterly devastating and heartbreaking that his future was taken away from him far too soon. A sentiment shared by complete strangers and those who knew Jason. We have all lost the biggest part of us that can never be replaced. And I would like to ask that the community please continue their support to fight for Jason so that justice is served. A fight that could be helped if these men are found. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Sydney.